All right, hello and welcome, fellow users of the internet. My name is Noah, and you're watching As Fidel Entrance. All right, well, the Modern Horizons 3 bundle gift editions are here. We will never stop opening bundles on this channel. It's our favorite thing to have. Um, you know, let's... Thankfully, Wizards released another SKU for this product after the set is already yesterday's news. No one cares about MH3. Most of the drafts that I went to after pre-release didn't even happen. Everybody's... Mm, eh. A lot of people are excited for Assassin's Creed already, but they are kind of complaining about it. Is what it is. Is what it is. Man. Yeah, we'll see that later. Let's investigate what we've got. Hmm. We've got the Pogs. They're worthless. You know what? It's unfortunate. I don't use a D20 for anything, but that looks pretty cool. Looks a little grainy in this. I know everybody complains about my picture quality. Maybe I'll fix it eventually. But that's the die. We got our useless Pogs. We've got... Shuffle in that Man, what is going on? Right, we got another power balance. I wonder if they changed up how they did the basic lands. Because in the last gift edition bundle we opened, that is the LCI gift edition, they uh, changed the ratio of what lands you got. Mm, but they didn't with these ones. These are just a regular pack. That's too bad. Because at least for the LCI one, you got uh, 20 full arts. Mm, okay. My full art collection was already going well. We're still going. Another worthless power balance. I wonder how close I am to done. Alright. Tax out Kia. Basic lands right to they are. Do with that information what you will. Have we got we got nine play boosters? Oh, and our collector booster. There it is. We'll save that for last. Alright. Collect up. Play pack number one will work on the interlude. Fetid Gargantua, Fang Flames, Nightshade Dryad, Sheltering Landscape, Snapping Void Card, Dreadmobile, Static Prison, Pinnacle Monk, Cool Card, Ruby Medallion. Solid, like, three or six bucks. Oh, we aren't done yet. That was our reprint rare and a flooded strand, baby. Ooh, and Foil Fell the Propane. This is like a $6 uncommon. All of these downshifted bolt uncommons are like super expensive. That's awesome. Put those in the package. Neatest way to do it. But yeah, okay, one fetch plan. We're already okay, we're not plusing. This thing was still ninety-five dollars. We're still working, but that was a good first pack. Alright. Sage of the Unknowable, good card for horrific assault, great uncommon. Glint to the impossible, another good comment, perilous landscape. Drown, Essence Reliquary, cool card, Propagator Drone, it her the Heralds of the End, man, like, just mono Eldrazi pack, Amphibian Downpour, Foil Wither and Bloom, Eldrazi Forest, and an art card. A refurbished familiar. Void Pouncer, nothing amazing. Cranial Ram, Seeding Landscape. Royal Cartographer, great card. Love to get me that energy. Drafted an energy deck the other day that was pretty sick. Pearl Ear, worthless. Shrieking Drake, another cool card. Reset your ETBs. Foil Pouncing Prospector, and a Gremlin token. Yeah, come on, keep it in there. Unfathomable Truths, a good card. Malevolent Rumble, great green common. Man, I wish I could play some more of the limited format. I'm going to have to make more time for Arena. Emrakul's Messenger, sink into stupor. A play set of this is like more than 20 bucks. This is a mega hot uncommon. Be watching for yours and trading me and stuff. Birthing Ritual, it is in most certainly a mythic. I don't know what it's worth. Molten Grim and an Eldrazi Scion. 
No, a spawn. I keep getting them mixed up. A scion is a 1-1. One, one. A spawn is an 0-1. Oh, Alright. Dream Drinker Vampire. Galvanic Discharge. One heck of a pick right there. Charitable Levy. Mindless Conscription. Rally the Implicit Maze. Envoy of the Andrus. Urza's Incubator. I think that might still be a couple bucks. And Aether Revolt. Now that is a magic card right there. I had that in a draft deck on Arena the other day, and it dealt so much damage. It was mega combo card. It definitely is still a build around. You can't just throw it in any red deck, but I had a play set of uh, Smelted Charge Bugs, the one through with Menace that make energy. It was pretty sick. All right, Utter Insignificance, great common. A Cursed Marauder, Smelted Charge Bugs, Speak of the Devil. Serum Visionary, Sandy Snacker, Fangs of Colonia. Twisted Riddle Keeper, Rush of Inspiration, Wirewood Symbiote, Six, good little rare right there, Foil Decree of Justice, baby! I want, I want to be able to cast this for Big X sometime. Alright, and the art. Girl of Sentry, Wing It, Infernal Captor, Faithful Watchdog, Nixborn Hydra. This card's really surprised me. Um, it being able to get to 7 mana for the 7 cost matter stuff has been really important. Bountiful Landscape, it's Teemer. Teemer's the Eldrazi colors. Best landscape, Eldrazi best deck. Just kind of how it is. Quest for the Necropolis. I haven't got to play this card yet. I bet it's really sick. Glyph Elemental, Buried Alive. Argent Diocese, 3 Man Charm. Terrible Rare. Buried Alive is really cool. I unfortunately, uh, one of my opponents the other day, Buried Alive, buried, cast their Buried Alive, put some really good cards in their graveyard, and then played uh, Victimize, but they selected their cards, and I think they fat-fingered their selection and didn't sacrifice the creature on resolution, so they didn't get it. It's a bad beat. Fang Flames, Aether Spike, Nightshade, Snapping Brain Surge, cool and common. Territory Color, another great Eldrazi card. Isle of False Gods, kind of lean. Glasswing Grace. Distinguished Conjurer, a flare, you know. I, I bet this flare is not very expensive. Foil Seething, good land right there for a team token. You know, there's one token that I still can't find that I really, really want, and it's the food token that goes with Soren. This is a person with bite marks on their neck. It's so flavorful. Gold Slith. Fang Flames. Last play pack, but not our last pack. We still got a Perilous Landscape. Cool one. Horde Shadow Spinner. Great. Shadows of Colonia. Marionette Apprentice. Kozilek's Alex Unsealing. Emerald Medallion. Okay, and Shifting Wildwood. Um, I don't know if Shifting Wildwood's expensive or not. It's been seeing a lot of play. Been seeing a lot of... That Shifting Wild was kind of a combo with the new Ulamog. Uh, Jim Davis was playing Red Green Eldrazi Breach at the Pro Tour. It's uh, looking really cool. All right, the Collector's Pack. This is, is this rare first? No, okay. I can't, you know, I've opened a whole box, but couldn't even remember. Okay, we've got Retrofitted Transmogrin. Contaminated Landscape. The Riddle Gargoyle. Okay, Uncommons. Urza's Cave. This, I think, is still a couple bucks, actually. Royal Cartographer, our basic land. Okay. Aether Spike. Okay, I forget. The, it, it's not, the value curve is not perfectly symmetrical. Okay, we've got Tireless Provisioner. Okay, is this good? Pearl Ear Advisor. Lame. Ah, Stinking Commander Eldrazi. Mega worthless. Harbinger of the Seas, okay, I think that might still be 10 bucks. I think. We'll see, we'll see. Volatile Storm Drake, don't care if it's bad, love this card. Um, had two of my pre-release deck, and it was mega sick. But yeah, no, it's a cool card. And this is the Ruby Medallion of all time. It's a really good looking one. And a Spawn, Spirit, double-sided token. All right. Ah. Uh. Okay, Ruben Dian, good card. 
I'll sleep it up right fast, I guess. Um, so I just wanted to take a second to talk about something right fast. I hate to be the one to tell any of my viewers if you didn't see the announcement officially already. But um, unfortunately, it turns out that hero of the game and seven-time Pro Tour winner Kai Buddha has been diagnosed with cancer. Um, according to this the official Wizards press release regarding it, it has taken a turn for the worse. Not exactly sure all those implications, but it's not looking good. Um, I, I'm going to try to post the link uh, to the official video because the official Magic the Gathering channel released a video with Huey explaining the explaining Kai's condition to the community. And I guess on the bright side at least, they're renaming the Player of the Year Award to the Kai Buddha Player of the Year Award, which is a great honor. Kai's definitely deserved it. He's a hero of the game. Like uh, Huey said in the speech, there's been an ongoing rivalry between Kai and John Finkel for, you know, the classification of GOAT in the game. And, well, I guess this has kind of solidified it for better or worse. That it is in fact Kai. He certainly earned it. He's a hero of the game. And the announcement for this worth. He was there at the ceremony. I'll make sure to post the link to the official video. But he seems to have taken it with great stride. And a lot of humility. Kai really is a hero to the game. A hero the game needs. And you know. He certainly hopefully will get lots of prayers from the community. And I guess I also just wanted to, to take a minute to say. And also I'm. Not my personal life, but uh, the store owners at my spot, Valkyrie Gaming, they had a death in their friend group. I didn't know the gentleman, but he went to the hospital on Friday and didn't recover, and so I had to take an extra shift there. That's, of course, not a big deal. I guess I just wanted to take the end of this video, if you watch to the end, to just remind you that, you know, the real magic in Magic the Gathering is the gathering. It's really the people and the friends we've got to make along the way. It's a groaner, but it is the truth. If, you know, it wasn't the friends and the jokes we all make and the late nights playing and the traveling together, it really wouldn't be worth anything. Uh, you know, I've unfortunately had to be kind of a lone wolf for this kind of last few years and months just because it's tough for people to balance magic and life and family and stuff but you should remember that your friends and family should always come first but and when you are playing magic and i'm gonna do this now i'm gonna try to do a lot better of being a positive influence because i've let myself think and say some pretty toxic things and whenever i watch this video you know the champion the greatest of us all kai you know that's not how he acted even when he came up on the baddest beat ever of actual cancer you could hear in his voice Huey Jensen talking about you know this devastating blow and doing what was only ceremonial but at least the best he could do for his friend in the situation and being toxic and being mean to people who you don't see eye to eye with that's not what he's all about and that's not how I'm gonna act either so just anyway, hopefully that wasn't too bad of news for anybody. Pro part of you guys probably didn't even know who Kai was or really uh, his contributions to the game. But it it's worth a look. You should check out his Wikipedia page and there have been lots of videos made about him. But either way, I'm going to sign off here. Remember to value what's most important over this coming 4th of July weekend. Probably make another video sometime around Thursday or Friday depending on... Uh, how well a little tournament and a little trip to a different store I like to go to sometime on Wednesdays go. But either way, yeah. Just make sure to keep your priorities straight out there, guys. Make sure to take care of yourselves. That way you can take care of others. And uh, thanks for spending your time with me. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.